Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you my top recommendation for plugins for macOS Yosemite. So this particular plugin that I'm going to show you today is called Total Finder. It's a really cool plugin that adds some functionality that didn't exist in Yosemite when it was first came out. And one of those items that it added back is colored icons on your sidebar as well as colored labels that go right across the line as opposed to the ones that are just appearing as a dot. Also, you'll be able to see the labels on your desktop, which is really, really cool. They do have some other items like folders on top, uh, which basically sort your folders to the top of the window when you're looking at it in the fall view, as well as adding Chrome tabs. So you can see these tabs are a little bit different, which are kind of cool if you'd like that. Dual mode, which allows two finder windows to be open, and a visor window, which is kind of a pop-up finder window with one key and uh, some copy and paste features that are pretty cool. Also note that the manuals are on this page, so when you download it, you may want to click back here to read about some of those features. But what I'm going to show you today is my top features, which are three items that I really loved having in the Finder that I lost with Yosemite, and I'm going to put back with this uh, particular application. So the first thing uh, that you're going to need to do to install this is to go to this web page, and I'll put uh, Total Finder's web address in the comments of this uh, video file so that you can download it. Then click on the download. This will give you a 14-day trial that will allow you to give it a try and uh, see if it works in your system. If you really like it, as I do, uh, you'll purchase it. It's about $18 for the plugin. So let's get started. Download that program and then go to your downloads folder and look for a file called Total Finder. It'll be a DMG file. Open it up, click on Total Finder Package, just run through the installation as you would anything else. Once it's installed, you won't notice a big difference. What you will notice is there is a new black folder showing up in the top menu called Total Finder Preferences. It'll also have in this pull-down visit home page where you can get the manual, uh, check for updates, restart Finder, and uninstall. So all of those appear there. When you click on Total Finder over here, it opens up this window. But what it's really doing is going to the Finder Preferences area and adding in this new icon that came about during the installation. So let's go ahead and do the three items that I really like um, to add back some color. So first you click on Sidebar and you click on Show Sidebar Icons. As you can see, I'll turn them on and off. They went from gray to color. Once you do that once, it'll stay there forever until you turn that off. So that's pretty cool. The next item that um, we're going to look at is Fall Browser. Now, if I click on the colored labels, as you can see, this is the way the labels normally look in Yosemite. This is the way they're going to look once I turn on colored labels. And as you can see, if we scroll back and forth, now you can see the difference. Uh, this is really, really helpful when you're trying to organize uh, your work and you just like to see things in a particular manner. Um, that works for you. So as you can see, um, you could make all the blues one particular item, and then the purples could be something else. For example, documents could be one, sorting items could be another, and you could even pick a color for a project, which is kind of cool. So whatever works for you to help organize your system, um, that's what you can do. Another item that uh, you can look at is uh, in the menus area. Uh, Basically, there is an icon to hide the icon in the menu bar. So that's that little black folder. If you're not seeing it, you might want to turn that on so that shows up over there. If you want to hide it, you can hide it, and if you want to turn it on. Another item uh, that's in the file browser that's pretty cool is this automatic feature for resizing your columns. So let's go ahead and go to Folder Test here. And as you can see, now I have two columns. I'm going to squash them in a little bit so that it kind of hides um, the, you know, the text so you can't really read it. With this on, it will automatically adjust that so that I could read them easily. So when you're actually going in a lot of files and you just want to see them clearly, this is a, a cool thing that you can do to organize your work. Folders on top, as I told you, um, sorts the folders so that they appear on the top and then uh, the other files appear at the bottom. If this wasn't on, uh, the folders would appear at the bottom, which sometimes could get lost when you're searching by size to try to find what is actually uh, causing the largest amount of space on your hard drive to be used up. So that's a helpful feature as well. 
One other item that I'm going to show you, and of course there are more features than what I'm showing you today, um, is ways of copying files from one area to another. So let's say I wanted to take this untitled folder, and I'm going to now go into the Edit menu, and it has a new feature called Cut Untitled Folder. Okay, And then I'm going to go back to my desktop over here, and I'm going to go into the Folder Test, and that's actually, I would like to actually paste it back to the desktop. So I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to go paste item and that item has now been pasted to the desktop. So it's another way to copy and paste. If you turn on in the menus uh, show cut paste buttons in the contextual menus what it will do is you'll be able to do the same thing but if you control click you'll suddenly see there's a new feature cut copy and paste. So those are another item that adds um, with this plugin. Anyway that basically is the total plugin, and it is a very cool plugin that I highly recommend. Um, it's called Total Finder, and I think you should try it out and let me know what you think. And if you guys have any other uh, plugins that you would recommend that you think are pretty good for Yosemite, uh, add comments to this video and let me know, and we'll try them out together. Thanks so much for listening.